Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video for you. I'm going to be doing a haul. So these, all these products are, um, they were bought with like Christmas money, they were bought at Boxing Day sales, they were bought at like pre-Christmas sales. So it's kind of around a Christmas, it's like a Christmassy haul, I guess Boxing Day haul, but they were also bought after. So let's get on with the video. So there is a lot of stuff here, um, a lot of the stuff was bought like, in, <clears throat> excuse me, in bulk, so it was bought like this Glissons, JJ's Cotton On, but then inside like, obviously inside the Cotton On brand there's like Cotton On Body, Cotton On Kids, Regular Cotton On, Typo, Supre, I think, and like Ruby. So even though these things were bought at separate shops, they all came together most of this stuff was online shopping there was a few things from boxing day that i got but as i said um most of these things were online shopping but i'll leave all the links to everything i can find down below for you so these things going. are more beauty products so the first thing i got was this satsuma energizing body polish from the body shop and it just comes in a tube like this and it's just one that pops open and it's a squeezable one and this is my all-time favorite smell uh, scent sorry from the body shop it is amazing oh, it smells so good I had this and the tube that was like a body scrub excuse me I got it for my birthday a few years ago and the body scrub I was gonna buy this was only $20 I think on Boxing Day sale but the scrub I was gonna buy was $45 on sale which is crazy so stuck with this one it's got like pearl beads and I don't know if you guys can see that just help like it's body polish so I'm super excited to use that and the next things are Bath and Body Works products I actually bought these off an Instagram page I think two separate ones and one off Trade Me so I will leave the links down below if I can find those Instagram pages otherwise um, I, will I will link the Bath and Body Works website down below so the first thing is something I'm so excited for. It is this um, Bath & Body Works Shimmer Fizz Body Lotion in Vanilla Bean Noel scent. Look at that packaging, it is so cool. But this is amazing. So, take the lid off. It's got one of these and this is what happens. Ready? So it foams and then when you rub it, it's like popping candy with them. And you rub it on. Oops. And it's like popping candy. So cool. There's something I've got on the couch. Whoops. But this is so cool. You can still like hear it and it makes it's also really glittery. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah. Glitter everywhere. But this is so cool. And apparently it was limited edition limited edition so you can't get it anymore but if you can get your hands on one of these definitely go and check it out because it is amazing the next thing i got is the winter candy apple hand soap which i love all the christmas scents from bath and body works and i also love buying their soaps and stuff because they last ages and it's actually really cool because like having them in my bathroom i don't know makes me feel a lot cooler but this oh my god smells amazing and the decoration on this is so nice so I'm super excited to start using that the next one I have is actually still ripped let me take that off Oops. it is just so I can smell it for you it is this marshmallow pumpkin latte body body lotion body lotion this is like a um, kind of like a fall as you say we say autumn is an autumn like smell but this stuff I love this flavor I have it in the body mist and it smells amazing oh my god it just I don't know what are the key what does it say marshmallow pumpkin latte smooth body lotion pumpkin latte toasted marshmallow praline musk and with coconut oil so this stuff 
smells amazing it smells exactly like autumn it smells like heading into winter and it is so nice so i'm super excited to use that and the last one is one of my favorite scents from bath and body works it is this cucumber melon body mist when i've never heard the scent cucumber melon like we don't have flavors of cucumber melon in new zealand which i was so surprised when i heard this just smells amazing it's like freshness it doesn't say ketones on here but i definitely recommend this flavor if you don't have it i have like the hand sanitizer and the body cream i think of this as well so i definitely recommend this for you if you don't have this flavor already but that is all the um bath and like not bath and body rest body stuff so we're just going to be moving on to like miscellaneous stuff okay, now. So the next things that are miscellaneous were all bought online. None of these were bought in a shop. They were bought um, on like the Christmas sale, like get before Christmas sales on like Amazon and um, these like people who own them, their websites. You'll find out in a minute. Most of them are YouTubers, but I am super excited to show you all of these. So the first thing I have is a poster. So if you open it up. You can see it is a picture of Alfie Days or Pointless Blog. And down in the bottom corner here is actually, oh, I don't know if you guys can see, there we go. It's a gold, it says PB, which he has signed. So this is personally signed by him, um, Pointless Blog. And this is his collection three. Yeah, his collection three um, of his merch and every time he has merch he releases a pin with it and as you guys know I collect pins and so I have all three I have his other two collections and this time because I bought something I got another pin so this is his like this is the next ooh, it's really hard with the here let me take it out of here it's really hard with the glare of the plastic there we go so it's got a um like picture of his head like the same picture as the poster and it just says collection three down the side so that is super exciting and i'm so excited to um put that on my pin board put everything there so um he did mention that he's releasing tons of new merch this year so i'm super duper excited for that i cannot wait but yeah usually every i think he released three um collections last year so hopefully we'll get some more this year the next thing I have is this book here, and it's kindness starts here, and I actually bought this off Amazon. It is a 52-week journal to Culturative, Culturative Kindness by Candace Cameron Bure. So if you guys don't know who Candace Cameron Bure is, she plays DJ on Full House and Fuller House, and I love her. And as soon as I saw this, this was something that I, that I had to get my hands on. So inside it looks like this and at the top it says kindness starts here then every day it says three kind things I did today. It gives you numbers and then there's a date over there. And so that's what all the pages look like. Like this and then in each bottom corner it says Candace's kindness tip. And then it just says like a wee paragraph of um, kind things in there. So this is in a decoration of this book. It's so, so cute. So I'm super duper excited to start filling this out and start spreading my kindness throughout this year. Oh my gosh, it just started hailing outside. Ugh. The weather over the past few weeks has been disgusting. So I apologize if you can hear that outside, but the next thing I have is this book by another YouTuber. Oops. And it is A Friend of My Own by Jonas Jonathan. Jonathan Sacconi Jolies. So this is a book by the Sacconi Jolies, the dad of the Sacconi Jolies. Um, there's a picture, so it's of the two kids. So there's all four kids on the back. So you've got Amelia, Alessia, um, Andrea, and Eduardo. And so this is a book he wrote, um, and it was like the book to reveal the new, when they had Andrea. Oh my God, Andrea! When they had the new baby, they released his name in here. And so it's actually a really cool way to release it. And originally these were uh, twenty, was it twenty dollars? I think they were, and they were on sale for five dollars. And my little sister, who also watches the Coney Jollies, really wanted this book, so I thought I'd pick this up for myself and we can share. Which I'm super excited to read that to her. 
the next thing is also from a YouTuber and it is from the YouTuber OK Baby, so Kara Severson. And look at this, this is her new lipstick line. So first, that look at this packaging. It is so nice. So this is a matte liquid lipstick. I open it up and it looks like this. So this is um by the brand IGXO, which is cruelty free and vegan lipstick. So that's what it looks like when your lipstick's in there. And this is the lipstick. It is gold and it's like this brownie colour. It is in the shade Baby. But this packaging is amazing. This is what it looks like. Oh, sorry. And you twist it. And it's like, it's really hard to see. But it's like this brownie, it's like a light brown colour. So I'm super excited to give this one a go. But that packaging, I just can't, I'm so obsessed. Like, this is packaging that I will be keeping for a very long time. So the last thing I have is something I have been very excited for since the day it had been released. This is not a YouTuber's product. It is actually something I bought off Amazon. But this is something to do with Riverdale. And I am so excited. So this is Monopoly Riverdale Edition. This is something I've wanted for so, so long. Like as soon as I saw it halfway through last year I was like I need to get this this is so cool and this is the back Ooh. like it has like the whole board and I've opened it up to have a look and let me read you some of like the places so it says like so instead of like chance and community chest it's got like Southside Serpents and Riverdale High and then it's got all the tokens so you've got Archie's guitar Veronica's Pearls, Betty's Diary, Sheila's Spider Brooch, Jughead's Hat, and Pot's Milkshakes. And then as the locations, they have like all the places around Riverdale. And they have like different icons on all the money. And this, I'm so excited. Ooh, I'm so excited to play this and give this a go. And play with my friends and my family. I definitely get your hands on this if you can. I'm pretty sure it was only limited edition, if I remember rightly. So... I'm super pumped to give this one a go. But that is all of the miscellaneous stuff. As you can see, I have a, still have a massive pile over here. So this is all clothes and other bits and bobs. Um, clothes and accessories that I will be showing you now. And hopefully, if my camera lasts this long, we will be able to do a try on haul it in this video. So the first thing I have is this. It is a brand new backpack because my one actually, I had like a shoulder bag for school and like every day after school my shoulder would be pounding, it was so sore. So I got myself a plain back black pack, plain, oh my god, plain back, try one more time, plain black backpack, there we go. So it's just a two strapper and I've been using it for school, that's why it's open. So it's got a main pocket up the top here, and then two down here, and it's also got a, um, I don't know if you guys can see, there, yeah. oops, there it's got a, um, what are these called, like laptop pocket, and this is actually from JJ's, I think this was on the Christmas sale for $20, so I thought I'd just pack this up, nice and easy bag, and if it breaks, it breaks. But I also want this keychain to go with it. I don't know if you guys can see it's really hard because it's attached. But it is a pom pom lobster, which has wee claws and it's got wee beady eyes. It's a pom pom there, and that was actually I think it was reduced down to five dollars from fifteen. So I thought I'd pick that up as well. So that is my backpack, and the rest are clothes I think. Yep. Yeah. Oh no, there's actually one pair of shoes but these are slippers from Cotton On Body I my Ugg boots I've had from Cotton On Body for at least like three years are slowly breaking so I thought I'd pick these up for myself they're like grey and white they're super fluffy and then they have like cute little love heart grips on the back with a little B for body on the bottom so these are super comfy these are a size small I think and I think think they were around 
I think they were on sale for $15 from 30 so these were a great grab which I was super excited for and now these are clothes so the first thing I have is a like is it a play suit no a bodysuit I think which I actually have never had one of these but I've got quite a lot of skirts that just need like a plain black tank top or a plain black top to go underneath it so I thought this would be a great grab so this is it here it looks like a swimming top it doesn't have any like clips down the bottom which is not a bad thing but would be nice so yeah this looks tiny but I have actually tried this one on but this is super stretchy um, I did try this one because it looked tiny when I got it but this was from Glassons I think let me check yeah so this is Glassons size small and I'm pretty sure this was it was on sale. I'm pretty sure I bought all of this stuff on sale. I don't think there was anything that wasn't on sale. But that is super handy. Something I need. The next thing I got was also from Glassons, I think. Yep. It is a wrap skirt. It's come undone at the side, but it is a black wrap skirt that ties up at the side. It's got a wee bow here, and it just wraps around the front like that. It's a little bit wonky at the moment because I tied it funny, but. That is something that I have needed, just a plain black skirt. I have pink skirts, I have white skirts, but I have nothing that's like a black linen-y skirt. So that is something that was needed as well. The next thing I have is, this was bought on, uh, actually all this stuff was bought online I think. Yeah, so the first, this is the first thing. It is from the shop Betty and Veronica. And it is just a plain black and white striped tee. With like, whoops. A red collar and short waist sleeves and then the pocket says Betty and Veronica and it is a proper pocket and it's just like a mid-length kind of t-shirt like tucked in with jeans would look really nice but I just love that pocket the red and the white looks super good together so I'm excited to, to wear that next thing I have is a cardigan so this one is from JJ's um, my cardigan that I have I bought two years ago and I wear it pretty much every single night with clothes or if I'm going out and I'm just in like bummy clothes um, but I thought I'd just better buy myself a new one um, where's the top of it here so it's just a plain black it's like a knitted kind of one it's um, full sleeves and it has also got pockets which my other one doesn't have so I'm super excited to use that as you guys know I love anything with pockets it's so much easier just to have my hands free put my keys in my pocket put my phone in my pocket and this is super fluffy that's so so fluffy and I can't wait to wear it next thing I have it's just so many clothes here and I don't know where to start okay is shorts I love linen shorts and anything like tight shorts I don't enjoy tight shorts baggy shorts I love so these are super cute so these are like gingham um, shorts I guess they have as you can see a tie at the front they're frilly at the bottom and these are from Glassons they are a size 10 and they are super cute I love them they're like black and white and they're just so I have tried these on because I wore them on the first day but they are so comfy and I love them so definitely get your hands on those if you can the next one is some bum pants which are also from Glassons they are black and white striped with ties at the front pockets and they are like wide pants they don't have a cuff at the bottom which is something different that I don't usually wear so I thought I'd throw it out of my comfort zone a wee bit the only thing that is kind of weird is see as you can see down the middle there it's like a different kind of like I don't know to explain but as you can see it's different it goes all the way down to like the crotch part but it's the lines are different I don't know if it's supposed to be like that but these are a size 10 I think yeah and I'm bum pants I'm usually an 8 so I might have to try these on and see what happens but otherwise if I don't grow in, into them by winter I can just give them away the next thing I have is oh this another t-shirt from Betty and Veronica and it says not yours on the front and it is just a like cropped um cropped tee cropped sorry cropped 
Lash Face. Uh, short sleeves. And it's just like a quite a soft inside. So this is just um, another one from Betty and Veronica, which I love that shop. And I think this is the last thing from Betty and Veronica as well. It says the same thing on it. It says not yours, but it's got a pink collar. And then the cuffs on the end of the sleeves are also pink. It's in a wee speech bubble. And it is also, whoops, there's also another crop as well. So wear it with high-waisted jeans or high-waisted shorts or anything like that as well. The next thing I have is something that is super duper exciting. So this is from another one of the YouTubers that I've loved. And this is from Alyssa Rose. So this is a crew neck hoodie. No, just crew neck, sorry. And it says Alyssa Rose. So a rose. Oh my gosh, a bird just flew into my window. I don't know if you guys heard that bang, but that was really scary. Okay. Anyway, so this is a long sleeve black crew neck, super long. It's got the Alyssa Rose icon on the um, like left side. This was a size small. They only have it in um, like men's sizes, I think. Or is it like, it, like, I just really had to explain, but it was like men's sizes. So this looks massive and I think it's going to be super baggy on me, but this was a smaller size. And it's something that I've wanted for a long time, so this will be something that I can keep for a while as well because, yeah, it's a wee bit bigger than usual. But the next thing I have is from JJ's as well. It is a different kind of top to what I usually wear. Like a, excuse me, golly. It is a top and it's like red around the neck, but then it also goes to the sleeves. The sleeves are also three quarters, well not three quarters, they're a bit like the over the shoulder, which is different. And we have a little ladybug on it and it says love bug, which is super cute. This is a size small and it was on sale from $20 to about 5 or $10, which most of these tops from JJ's were on sale for $5. So I love that. As you guys can see, I love wee things like details on t-shirts and you'll see that in a few of these other t-shirts as well. So the next thing I got was just a plain striped, um, oops, just hit myself in the face, plain striped cropped um, t-shirt. I usually have blue and white stripes and tops. I don't usually have black and white, so that's a bit different. Um, we've got a black, black collar and it actually has, I don't know if you guys can see, but it, yeah, there we go. It actually has a pocket there, which I do love a pocket on a t-shirt, so I'm super excited to give that one a go. Um, the next thing I have is something that's a wee bit different, but it was on sale for summer, so I thought I'd pick it up. It is a crop top to wear with like a high-waisted skirt or anything. This was on sale. It was $15 down to 5 I think it was. So this is super cute. It's like a navy blue with red stripes and blue stripes and then a white at the bottom. And it's just a strapped one. And then you've got the... It's like quite stretchy as well which is really nice and I think that is a yeah, size small on that one. Then we have a top from Factory. So this is a another black and white striped top but with straps up the top and a high neckline and then that cuts down and that is yeah it's kind of hard to explain but it looks like this. So it goes up around your neck and then it comes down under like the armpits like comes like down and around here if that makes sense like, but you'll see it when I try it on it looks um really nice on the model and I needed an, bleh, I needed an extra five dollars to get free shipping so this looked really nice so I thought I'd pick it up from there few things left now next I got this top from cotton on and it is a blue and white striped. It has spaghetti string straps and it is a really long flowy top to be worn with like black jeans or white jeans. Really anything. It's like a double lined one as well. So it's got a white lining on the inside. And I just think this colour is super cute. I don't really usually wear blues. I wear a lot of black and whites and pinky colours. So I thought I'd give this blue a go. And so I'm really excited to give that one a go as well. Vote for.
beautiful. What you guys can't see is there is a massive, massive pile of clothes that looks like it's going to fall any minute. So we have a few more things here. So we have, which way is it? So this top from Cotton On. So it is a crop top, as you can see, but it is a long sleeve. It cuts off, like we have a bit of elastic there. That cuts off before it goes like flared. This is actually an off the shoulder one. And it's on both sides. It's got like the elastic there as well. And then it's got the elastic down the bottom like that. So that's a super cute one. And a few things left. We've got this, which I am super excited to try on. This is a denim like dress thing. I'll try to show you. It's like got, what are these called? Overall bits on the front. Struggle. Um, it's got a pocket as well. <laughs> it's got buttons on each side with pockets, which is lovely. Pockets on the back. And it is a dress as well. So I'm super excited to give that a go because I have a lot of, um, as you saw, quite a few colour tops under um, in this pile. And also in my wardrobe, I have tons of ones that have like colour sleeves and colour tops. So it'd be really nice to just wear a plain white dress and then wear colour underneath. Last two things, I have this top from JJ's, which is another one with embroidery on the thing. It's a lemon and it says main squeeze on it. And it is also a crop, which is super cute. I love that. And the last thing I bought from Abercrombie and Fitch, it is this top here. It's got like frilly sleeves and the frilly bottom. Frilly bottom, it's super, super, super stretchy. Pink around the top, and this is a size extra small. But this is so cute. I don't know if anyone's picked up on where this is from, but I bought this after seeing Betty from Riverdale wear it in season two. I think she was wearing it underneath overalls or something. If I can find the picture, I will insert But as I was saying, I got this because of um, Betty from Riverdale. And it's super cute just to throw on like underneath like a denim jacket or just with a pair of jeans or even shorts. So I definitely recommend that. And that is it. That is all for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully you guys love these clothes as much as I do. You'll probably see most of them in videos coming up very, very soon. Um, I think that is all for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye. Just realised I forgot to say that I'm doing the try on haul. So... Let's do that now. So this is the top from Abercrombie and Fitch. I've just paired it with a pair of grey kind of shorts. Don't know if you guys can see, but there's like the frilly. It is quite a tightish top, so if you're wanting something that's a wee bit um, like less tight, if that makes sense, it's quite tight under here. But I definitely go for the size up for this top. But otherwise, it is super the cute. The overall and dress it. over top of the Betty top. As you can see, it is a little bit big for a size. I think this is a size 10. Is it? Yeah, this is a size 10, so I probably could have done with an 8. It is, it's like, really hard to show you, but it's just above my knees. But, yeah, it is a little bit big. I'm not sure if you guys can see. But I've got, like, the things all the way back here to like tighten it up so it is the right length now but probably could be taken in a bit so I might see if I can get that done when I'm home also this top's probably not the best with it but I do like it now so I've got the main squeeze little lemon top on this is actually a really good length for a crop top because as you can see my shorts are quite high like they're above my hips and this is actually super comfy and sometimes with em, um, embroidered tops, it can get super duper itchy um, because of like the, I don't know if you, because of like that bit on the inside isn't sewn properly or something. But this is actually really comfy. I do I like this. Also, I forgot to mention, don't mind my background. This is my dirty kitchen, but this is the only lighting I had. And my camera's going to die super soon, so I wanted to get this film for you. Just 
putting my hat on with me with this t-shirt and realize that I didn't press start. So let's try again. And I was saying that I really like this top. It's super comfy. It's an off the shoulder one, but it is, as you can see, it tightens around here. So if you don't like anything tight around your arms, um, I definitely probably wouldn't recommend this top because it would take you a lot of getting used to because it is quite tight. But I love the different how it flows down here, but it's also tight around the waist. You can wear a high waisted skirt with it as well, or dress it up, dress it down. You've got plain shorts, or you can wear it with like a nice skirt. Don't really keep swaying, but as you can see, the follows you around, which is really nice. And I think I just love the color of it. It's super cute. So this is the next one. I actually love this color. I don't know if you guys can see, there we go, it's better. So it looks like this. Probably definitely not with these shorts, because it is quite a long top. And this, I might tuck it in when I wear it with like other shorts, like my black denims would be good. But if you're wearing it out, it's kind of, I don't know, maybe white jeans, black jeans. But definitely if you're wearing it with shorts, I am probably going to wear it like this and tuck it in. Which will be really nice, but I actually love this. I'm not really picks like an openish kind of back but I don't really have like spaghetti strap things as you can see I'd need to not wear a bra with it or like chicken fillets or something but I do really really like this this top don't worry about this this is just my as you can see my bra strap I've tucked down this is definitely oh, I actually really like this kind of cut I haven't really I haven't got any tops like this and I don't really wear tops like this either but I'm actually really liking it as you can see it cuts up the top here and comes over the shoulder so it's not really an open back it is quite a tight fitting one so if you wanted one that was a bit looser you'd probably go with a um, larger size but I think this is a small or an extra small it is like as you can see it's quite long so I probably would tuck it in maybe not with these shorts but definitely do really enjoy it like that actually fold it in yeah I do actually like that a lot okay so this is the cropped stripe black and white stripe I do really like this it's just a plain stripe top black collar and the wee pocket still got the stickers on but the back is just a plain back as well and it is a great size because you can wear it with high waisted shorts or if you wanted to make it a crop and bring the obviously these are high waisted shorts but wear your low like ones that sit on your hip and have a bit of stomach showing it's up to you but these ones do sit up here but I really like this top just to throw on with anything wear it under a jack denim jacket but this is something that I love yeah so this is the next top it is like a baseball kind of one I think um it is the little love bug top um, as you can see the sleeves come down a wee bit this is something that I don't usually wear but I do actually like the pop of red because sorry pull up my wedgie um, something that I don't usually wear but I do actually like it a lot it is a bit longer as you can see this is the it's only at the small I don't think there was an extra small in these so that's why I got a bigger size but you can like Tie it at the side, tie it at the front, you can tuck it into shorts, or you can wear it like sometimes I like tuck the side in. I don't know. But I do like the idea of tying it at the front. It does look very nice, but the pop of red is something that I need in my wardrobe, so okay. So this like is that. my Alyssa neck Alyssa neck, Alyssa Rose crew neck. As you can see, it is actually quite big, but it's not as big as I thought super like the inside look at that this i don't know why i did like that but that is so fluffy and it's actually like a good kind of like bunny around one i guess like you can wear it with probably not best with these shorts but wear it with like bum pants just bum around bum around hair bum around home or like dress it up with like i guess blue jeans white jeans and you could just wear it out and tuck it in like that but i do love the way Alyssa Rose and this stuff is actually really good because it's not one of the ones that's going to peel off it's actually like stuck 
video. So, 10 out of 10 for the okay, case. So this is the pink, not yours, t shirt, crop t shirt from Betty and Veronica. I really, really like the wee detail on here. It is, as I said, crop, so it's a perfect fit. The only thing is the arms are like super tight. I don't know if they'll like shrink the. That is the only thing. This is an extra small, so the length is perfect. Neck and everything else is fine. It's just the arms are like the pink bit's super tight around my arms. But I'm sure we can. It's actually not too bad. I'm sure it's just something I need to get used to. But I do really love this top. Pop of colour, super cute. And just to dress it with like shorts. And so this I is love the black, not yours. I love. I don't know what it is about this top, but just wearing it, like the pop of the white colour is so cute. And I don't usually have black crop tops. I don't really have shorts to wear it with. But I actually love this. It's so cute. Yes, I 10 out of 10, size 10. And as I said, they're usually a size 8. These are far too big for me. Like, this is how big they are. Like, obviously they're supposed to be bum pants. But this is as tight as they go. Like, if I get them to the right size, they're like this. Which isn't too bad, but I think I'm just gonna sit there undone because I don't really like them tight when they're bum pants. They're super baggy. Like, if I put my phone in them, they're just gonna get dragged straight down. Like, I like the bottom actually. To be honest. But, like, so I might get them taken in a little bit when I'm home, otherwise I might grow into them. We'll see, but with the back pinned like that, they're actually not too bad. I do enjoy them, but I just have, I thought I'd buy a new pair of bum pants because I have the same pair that I wear pretty much every day. So I thought I'd buy them, but these aren't too bad, but I can't really show you without, I don't even have a chair in here. Like, if I jump, I'll show you. Okay, that didn't help at all. But they're super, super baggy. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of them. I think because my other ones are, like, um, clasped around the bottom, so it kind of doesn't let the flow go down, but that's okay. We'll see what we can do with them. Otherwise, we'll just return them. I've already tried these shorts on, but I thought I'd show you guys anyway. Look at these shorts. How freaking cute. Only thing about these shorts, they don't have pockets, but I am in love. Like, I don't really, I've never worn this pattern before. Like, the, I think it's called gingham. But it's got a tie at the front, perfect with crop tops. And it's like got frills that go, that I go like down in. I have to go on my tiptoes so you guys can see this. But they are so cute. I am in love with these shorts. Like, linen shorts are my all time favourite shorts. Anything loose and baggy but still looks super cute. I love it, so. I'm the colour going on the top of this outfit. But I am actually really like this. The sleeves are a little bit long. But that's just because I have short arms. Um, but so I just fold those over like my other cardigan. There we go. That's better. So once they're folded we're okay. Um, this is actually super cute. It's just long enough to like reach past my shorts so... I usually do just wear like my cardigans with my shorts, just pretty much with anything. It's super cute, it has wee pockets, which I love, and it's just like a wee knitted, as I showed you guys before, knitted kind of cardi, just super cosy, and I love it. So, so I've got the last half. These, this outfit does not go together at all, but I've got the Betty and Veronica shirt with the wee pocket. This is actually tighter than I expected, like around the top part anyway, but it's like stretchier. I was expecting it to be like kind of a flowy kind of top, but it's actually really nice. Like, obviously I can wear it with shorts and like that, or you tuck it in. It would actually look really nice with like black short, uh, black jeans or black shorts with a denim jacket over top. It's the only kind of jacket I have, that's why I keep mentioning it, but. Yeah, I do actually like this top. It is super long though. It's 
super long like a dress <laughs> but that's okay I do like it I think this is a size small as well but I thought pretty a romper super cute super subtle people know what they know and if they don't they don't right but I love this top so okay so I thought the same shirt same shirt back on again obviously this one doesn't go with it but it's really hard to show you guys I have the like tie what are they called for side tie like cut skirt so it cuts down and then it just frills all the way around this one like that frills all the way around if I was to turn it show you so this is like goes on the side and then it just wraps around this is like a wrap skirt it is super cute can we see the bottom of it I love it it goes right now it's so pretty but this is yeah this is a skirt it's super duper soft like linen-y feel which I love so yeah this is the like obviously we're not gonna wear it with this skirt maybe we will I don't know but this is like the crop top with the different colors I actually really really like this obviously we wouldn't wear it with a bra we could but can't see it at the front so it's okay I actually really like this but it's just plain like navy it's really hard to show plain navy on the back but yeah I love the colors on this so cute okay so this is the bodysuit I actually really really like it it is like a okay we're not gonna wear the bra with it we're just pretending it's not there it like ties around the neck it is super cute tied a bit tight so it's like cutting my neck but I actually really really like this cuts around and obviously it's like it's like a togs I guess I don't know it togs it doesn't have like the clasp at the bottom to take it off so you do have to take the whole thing off but I'm pretty sure this is only like five bucks anyway so better than nothing but I love I love and last thing I'll just grab them is these I don't know if you want me to see try these on but these are the slippers it's really hard to show you yeah um yeah obviously this was all everyone knows what slippers looks like on feet surely but those are the slippers but let's try that outro one more time so that's all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it um if you couldn't tell already i'm a bit of a weirdo but that's okay because i love it and i hope you guys enjoyed this try on haul hope you enjoyed and i hope you want to see another one like this i don't know what i'm saying so i'm rambling um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next week for another video. I love you so much. Bye.